Well, I, I think you guys are going to be tremendously blessed by this video. Uh, we're really excited. I'm just going to keep talking because he's not ready yet. <laughs> so, uh, I, think, I think that's good. I know one thing. I hope you guys can see me because I can't see y'all. No more. And I got glasses. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, give a big round of applause for Marlena of All One Body Ministries as she comes to bless us. Yes. that uses the arts to uh, minister to other people. We spread the word of God. We uh, bring souls to repentance. We bring souls to Christ. And I'm here to just do my poem about God's grace and mercy and how he kept me throughout my life. Amen. Amen. Yes. Take your time, Mommy. Father God, I come to you right now as humbly as I know how. Asking you to decrease me, a woman, O oh God, and increase your spirit within me, Father God. Use me as a vessel, O oh God. Use me not for performance, O oh God, but use me for ministry, O oh God, mm. so that someone in this building may be touched by these words that you have given me. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Before I was born, and my mom got to hold me, God chose me. And I'm so thankful that I was chosen, because I remember the days that I should have chose him. But instead, I was out in the world, and I chose sin. Yes, I vividly remember the days when I skipped choir rehearsal just to make it to the days in. As a Christian, I should have stood apart from the world, but I chose to blend. Because it was either Jesus or my homies, and I chose friends. Preach the gospel? <laughs> yeah, right. I would rather not to. God knows my heart and only he could judge me what's my heart to. I know you can't serve two masters, but I try to. Because they said I could be in church and be in the world and still go to heaven. But I guess I was lied to. And being in the world, it really overcame me. But I really can't point fingers. All I can do is blame me. Never stray too far away from Christ because of the way my mother raised me. But I wish I could erase my past because I hate who it made me. Or at least I hate the person that I used to be. Lusting after clothes, after money, and even lusting after girls. I almost lost my soul trying to gain this whole world. And often I rewind to that night I got robbed when three dudes ran up on me with hatred in their eyes. No, I wasn't scared and no, I didn't even cry. I just know that night I was supposed to be dead. So tell me why didn't I die? Because at that point in time, my heart was so far from God. I went to church every Sunday and I still wasn't living right. I could quote a couple scriptures, but I couldn't apply them to my life. I didn't deserve a second chance, but I thank God that I'm alive. Because I was supposed to die. That's what the enemy meant. But grace and mercy stepped in, and God yes. just didn't see fit. And even though I've been in church my whole entire life, I would have went straight to hell if I would have died that night. Because I said the sinner's prayer just about a hundred times. So that means I stood at the altar before God and told about a hundred lies. Yeah, I believe Jesus died and he bled for my sins. But I never felt the Holy Spirit and it never did convict. So I reached out to the church. But all they did was condemn. I reached out to Jesus Christ and I haven't been the same since. Because he woke me with open arms. He showered me with his love. He separated me from this world and he showed me where my help comes from. And today I stand here so thankful because I used to be drenched in sin, but then I was washed with his blood. So that means that my past life of sin is finished. And I can't go around doing whatever I want because though this life is short, eternity isn't. That's why I'm cleaning up my life for my bridegroom. No spot, no blemish. Heaven is my reward, and I'm in this to win it. But I'm not trying to get to heaven because I'm scared of hell. I'm trying to get to heaven because I'm scared to fail. Yes, I'm scared to fail. The one who was hung by nails. That's why I boldly proclaim the gospel I used to be scared to tell. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to get in. They talk about love, but see, true love is when someone comforts you. Even when you never paid it for your sins. Mankind sold him out, betrayed him with a kiss. And the same ones 
that he would give up his life for me, knowing that I wouldn't even give up sin for him. And as I read my Bible, I focus in on the story of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, Father, if there's any other way, let this cup pass from me. But he died on Calvary anyway, so I'll do anything he asks of me. Pull out my heart and worship, give him the very last of me, because Jesus Christ changed my life drastically. He erased my wretched past from me. You've got to understand, Jesus erased my wretched past from me. So allow me to be totally transparent, see all of my sins, from lying, to fornication, to even homosexuality, that were erased by the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary, so I'm done with that lifestyle. I just thank God that before I died, I had a chance to repent. I came to him with a contrite heart, and he forgave me of my sins. But I was supposed to die. That's what the enemy meant. But grace and mercy stepped in, and God just didn't see fit. I was supposed to die. That's what the enemy meant. But grace and mercy stepped in. My God just didn't see fit. He promised me deliverance. And that's what I received. By his blood, I've been redeemed, justified, set free. But see, before I was even born, my mom had that chance to hold me. My God already chose me. And I'm so thankful that I was chosen. Cause I remember the days that I should have chose him, but instead I was out in the world and I chose sin. I was supposed to die. That's what the enemy meant. But grace and mercy stepped in and my God just didn't see fit. He promised me deliverance and that's what I received. By his blood I've been redeemed, justified, set free. He blessed. Amen. Amen.